Welcome back to another episode of Inward News. It's your boy Dre. Oh God, more, more cop things. San Antonio officer has been fired after he shot a teenager for trying to evade. Uh, according to the cop, he recognized the vehicle from a suspect that fled from him earlier, like a day earlier or whatever. This cop then used so much unnecessary force when he walked up on this kid's car with no lights on, didn't knock on the window, he just swung the door open and then tried to yank the kid out. So the 17 year old that's just eating McDonald's, minding his business, sees some dude yank his car door open and try to grab him. So he drives off. This cop pulls out his gun and just starts letting off rounds. No stop and just pow, 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 pow. The car stopped, so he put his gun down. Then it kept going. Pow, 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 pow. The kid died, obviously. Like he, I mean, point blank range, dude was just dumping, just. Can't even excuse that. You can't even think of a reason to justify that. There was no signs that this dude was an officer. Also, he got the wrong guy. Wasn't even the dude that sped off on him. He killed a 17 year old for literally no reason. More cop news. An officer that was part of the Uvalde police force got hired by the school district where that shooting took place. Uh, apparently the initial issue was that she was hired while the Uvalde investigation was still going. So people was just upset about like, you can't get a new job while you're being investigated for your old job, whatever, at least of this nature. But apparently the, the big issue is she shot herself in the foot when she went over, I don't know if it was on social media or she said it in an interview or somebody just heard her say it. But apparently she said that if it was my kids, I wouldn't I would have went in there. No questions asked. So she said this, you know, while she was uh, in there, like she was one of the first officers in the school when the shooting happened. And she just stood there because I guess she was waiting for orders to, you know, do whatever. But she was like, if it was my kids, I ain't waiting on no orders. So, of course, the parents was like, whoa. So our kids was okay to die, but not yours. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Two investigations. I don't even know if she got fired, but I think she might get fired because you can't be a cop and say, if it was my kids, I'd have, dis I'd have disregarded orders to save those, save my kids. Like, bro, you're a public servant. You're supposed to hopefully disobey orders to save a lot of people's kids. Some conservative group, I think in like Washington state, uh, they're filing a lawsuit against Biden for trying to c cancel the student loan debt. They're saying that the decision is targeting black borrowers. They said that this violates federal law because it's seeking to narrow the racial wealth gap. They just admitted racism and tried to promote equality all at one time. Because they literally, well, the student loans ain't helping white people, it's only helping the blacks. Which, I mean, it's true, it's helping a lot of blacks, but it's helping literally any poor person they got got by predatory student loans, but anything to keep the black man down. Some people's racism won't even get in the way of them coming up. Biden is pardoning all simple marijuana charges at the federal level. So he can't do nothing for y'all that got got by your state. So I'm sorry to y'all, but the people that got got by the country itself, y'all are good for a uh, marijuana possession. Like I think if you got like really big laundering or distribution you know if you're like if he was a top weed guy which is crazy to say when we have cocaine and opioids everywhere but yeah if he was like one of those top distributors you're still in there too but also if we just decriminalize like let them out obviously the the crime they're serving is no longer a crime so just let them live but you know this country mcdonald's is trying to make themselves some money with some new old items they bring back the happy meals except this time it's supposed to be for adults but the only difference is it's like a regular food combo, but they give you a toy, which is just like some figurine with four eyes. It's, I don't even think they do anything special. It's just four separate ones. I think it's Hamburglar, that Chicken Nugget Girl, uh, maybe Grimace, and who knows who the fourth one is. Might be the mayor. Nobody nobody ever remembers the mayor of Burger Town. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's stupid. Don't fall for that. But they are bringing back the Halloween uh, trick-or-treat buckets, the pumpkin things. So if you got kids or if you just want one for yourself, uh, because that's how people are. They want things for themselves. They don't actually care for the children. Get you one. I might get me one. I think the money goes to, like, some organization for children. So legit, go get you one just for those kids. McDonald's is, they're, they're killing us slowly, but they do a lot for the children. And now on to the all hiring segment. 
realtor Christian Jackson is a realtor out of Atlanta. Uh, no, she's in Florida. The other people are in Atlanta. She's in Florida, uh, Jacksonville, Florida. So if you're down there and uh, actually, yeah, a lot of people might need new houses now, now that Florida is the way Florida is right now. So if you're near Jacksonville, hit her up because you've probably been dislocated or mislocated or displaced. That's the word. Uh, so yeah, go get your new house. Uh, I think they have a bunch. I don't think was Jacksonville very close to where the hurricane hit. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but go to her, get you some help, get you a place to stay. Uh, small home, big home, family home, ancient home, new home, Victorian, uh, modern, whatever. Get at her, help her out, uh, help her help you. Hope Great Homes ATL is a realtor in Atlanta. Uh, same thing as all realtors. She can get you a house, a uh, town home, uh, maybe an apartment. I don't know how realtors work with apartments, but. The big houses, the small houses. Let me see which area does she work in. I think she's all over Atlanta. Yeah, I don't even think she has like a specific spot in Atlanta, but let's see, what's this one say? I don't know where the Summer Hill subdivision is, but she can help you build one, buy one, rent one, transfer, all that. And the Shivers Family Investment, they build houses. I think it's, it's kind of the same as realtor, except they help you build your house, modify your house, change your house, get your house right, get your house left, get your house however you need to get your house got. So yeah, they do everything. Inside, outside, exterior, interior, renovations, upgrades, models, all that. This is it for your hiring. This is it for the episode. See you guys next week.